Hello everyone, welcome back to Kinotomate. In previous session, we have learned how to set up Java and how to set up Android Studio. In this session, we are going to learn about how to set up Android emulator. If you have not watched the previous videos, I have given the URL in the description. Please go and watch it. And uh, let's begin with the uh, Android emulator. Emulator is nothing but a virtual device through that you can automate your test cases you can install your app into emulator and it will be kind of virtual device of your mobile what you need to do here once you open the android studio there will be a three dots right this is the latest version of android studio that's why you are getting like this but in a old version of android studio you will be getting a small window below and there you need to select the virtual device manager right you need to click on this virtual device manager here once you click on virtual device manager you will get a small window like this there it will be having a button called create device just click on the create device here it will show a list of devices that is a phone wear os tablet automotive so right now i'm looking for a phone that's why i'm selecting a phone here and here you can select any of the phone whatever the phone you want it will show a list of phones say for example pixel 5 nexus right and all kinds of phones it will show so let me select this pixel 3 right then after that i can click on next so here if you see here this is the operating system right for you have selected a device now you need to select which operating system you want it and each operating system uh, android operating system will have some version right maybe when you are using a mobile device you'll be getting a notification that okay download the latest version of android os right so that is how similarly here also we need to install what is the latest uh, version or whatever the version which we require so android 10 android 11 right now we have a different versions of android and for each android version they have given some name that is a pi q r download like that and here it will give the different version also uh, this is the version that is the api version we call it as 28 and 29 and android version is 10 and 9 respectively so what we can do here is uh, we can select any one of them so for example here there is uh, r and there is a q right let me download uh, r here so make sure that you download at least uh, two uh, os right one is r and q q i am downloading because one we will be using for our manual testing one we will be using for our automation so q is already downloaded in my system that's why it is not showing the download link here so for r i need to download so i'm selecting a r here so it will take some time and once you click on that it will show window like this downloading so and so version and the size is of 1.1 gb so we'll wait till it gets downloaded then we'll continue so this version got installed here uh, if you see here it is showing as done here and i'll just click on finish okay so if you see here r q and pi two android versions sorry three android versions i have right now and i have one device i can map it to any one of them so for example this is done and i'm just clicking on next here Right. I can give a device name here. I can give say for example pixel 3 for test. This is my device name. I am just uh, selecting whether I want a landscape or I want a portrait. So you can change that and if you see here we have selected the version R here and this is the version Android version 11 and just click on finish. So it will create your virtual device and it will showcase uh, the emulator so now virtual device is created here it is showing play and edit right and here it has some option to delete uh, restart the machine right now we want to start this virtual device and see how does it look like i just clicked on play button here it is opening an android emulator so it will take some time to initialize and start it first time so this is how the android emulator looks like and uh, you can connect to this android emulator and you can do all your testing everything on this android emulator so this emulator is getting started here and first time it is taking some time to boot here 
so this is how uh, the phone looks like and you can do any actions here so if you have a menu here you have a browser here right so you can uh, play with this device this is our emulator right so that's it for this session thank you i'll see you in the next video